Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys uh, what changes we've made with Magnus Building version 7. Um, so first of all, I'd like to mention that we have two websites here, magnussolution.com, which is our main website where you can purchase our support, uh, or see application, or our modules, everything. Uh, and we also have the Magnus Building website which is the project page, you can already install version 7 from here. And also, remem remember that the project is open source and it's crowdfunded by either the service services you guys purchase here, either support or subscribing for the C application, everything, everything that you purchase from us is going to be reverted in the project. You can also make donations, you can also help fund uh, campaigns to add new features to the system. It's up to you guys. So let's get this going. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to update to the ver version 7, which I do recommend you guys to do. So first of all, I'm going to connect here on my server SSH and show you guys how to do that. Um, so. First of all, after you connect to your server, uh, what you're going to need to do is go to this di directory here. Um, and here we have the update file, which is called update.sh. And you're going to need to edit this file and change the repository here from the ver sixth version to the version seven. You can get the link here from the repository itself you can go over to our website here and just grab the install script from, from here um, it's up to you so you need to change that here in the update file update two, two times to make sure everything has been up, updated correctly and you should be ready to go so let's go over here to the system itself and let's talk about the features that have been added. So first of all, we've, we have removed the classic theme from here. And what we have now, we have the black themes here. And also a, a new cool feature that we have related to the interface is when you click a different menu, uh, we have, um, the, it gets changed to the menu you clicked on. So it doesn't get confu confusing to use. Uh, we also added this submenu called menus here under configurations here, which allows you to change the order of the menus. You can change the icons. Uh, as you can see here, we have the same icon for every submenu here. So what you can do is go over to Font Awesome here and grab any of those and change it in the menu here. Um, you can also go over to the settings and find the sign up settings here. We have the sign up form, which we can enable. We can also show the sign up button or not in the, the login page here. If we go over here uh, to the login page, you're going to see that we changed the interface here. And you can see that we've also added the forgot your password field here which you can use to recover your password in case you forgot it um, so let's go back over here and what we've added as well is on IVR over the did menu we added the direct extension option here which was a campaign that was funded and now it's available in the system what this does is if you enable it you can also uh, simply type the numeric a VoIP account or SIP account of the account you want to dial from the IVR. So it's a really great feature that's probably going to be useful for a lot of people. The last feature here that I'm going to be showing you guys is that we've changed how tariffs work. Now we have the regular tariffs here and we also have the tariffs over the, pro over the roads here, uh, which are the provider rates here. So what this means is you can also have uh, a f uh, exact tariff for each trunk that you have. So 
if for example your trunk fails and get and it gets failed over to another trunk the tariff gets charged charged correctly which didn't happen in the older versions because it would simply keep the original trunk tariff um, you can also here in settings menu other than the sign up options here you can also change the background color uh, on the loading page of the system here to any color you'd like uh, I try to be as brief and quick as possible as I know most of you guys don't have much time I hope I covered everything and if you have any questions please comment and also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hire our services so you can keep supporting the system that we provide you guys for free thank you